How's it going, Knights of the Round Table? My name is Knight Gamer Rex, and welcome to the conclusion of my little experiment that I did with clickbait. So, what exactly happened this last week was every single one of my videos that I uploaded, except for on the weekend, and the reason I didn't upload on the weekend was because I was at work, and I. To be honest, I really, really didn't want to edit whenever I came home at 11 p.m., so, you know, I went to bed <laughs> like a normal person. Then on Saturday, you know, I just recorded some more videos, so that way the next week would have more videos. So, what's the conclusion? Well, clickbait works. Let's just go with that. I saw a significant increase in every single field of views, watch time, comments, likes, dislikes, even, and subscribe count is something that I also want to talk about. My normal videos normally get around like 30 to 50 views. With the clickbait, every single, almost every video I uploaded with the clickbait almost got 100 views a piece. And then there was one special little snowflake which got over 1,150 views. Because of clickbait. Now, it wasn't because it was a new thing to the channel. It was VR. It was my very first VR video for the channel. I don't think that's the reason why it got so many views. I think it got so many views because my tags were fucking weird. Like, first VR porn and like first VR hentai, things like that. And people search these things expecting to find results and it's got a lot of views. Whenever it started reaching like 250 views, I was just like, oh, Okay, this is weird, and then it reached around like 500 views, and I was like, please stop, you know, it's not that great a video, please stop, please quit trying to search this sort of stuff, it's not in the video, go away. And then it got over a thousand views, and I'm like, okay, yeah, clickbait is a thing, yeah, I get it, but, um, I saw a significant increase in everything. Overall, like across the board, there was a 150% increase. For views, there was a 236% increase, <laughs> which is insane because I went from going from having about like 250 views a day to about 800. So that's saying something. In conclusion, clickbait works and it's not for subscribers. You don't want to do clickbait for subscribers because you won't get any. I lost a lot of subscribers because of this clickbait. I lost a lot. Like one day I gained like six, and then the next day I lost like seven or eight. So you can gain, you know, subscribers like normal, but just keep in mind that if you do want to do clickbait, you're gonna lose a lot of subscribers as well. Like I pretty much haven't moved in my subscribe count that much. And the thing that gets you subscribers, I believe, is self-advertisement on other people's channels. Self-advertisement gets you subscribers, whereas clickbait gets you views. So, if you want the like most amazing, perfect channel ever and you want views and subscribers fast, go ahead and be like a lot of YouTubers and use clickbait and, and uh, self-advertise on other people's channels. That'll get you subscribers and views really, really quickly, and I think that's... <laughs> It's, it's, it really is a broken system. Concerning my titles and my video thumbnails. My titles will go back to normal, my thumbnails will stay how they are. The reason why I'm gonna keep the thumbnails as they are is because I actually like the kind of new art style that I put into them. I had a lot of fun making these thumbnails. And the only thing about the thumbnails that will go away, of course, is like the anime babes and all like the uh, girls and stuff in the thumbnails. There'll be no clickbait whatsoever, but you know, I like the new way I've been doing making thumbnails because I've been making like the same sort of like style of thumbnails for years. <laughs> and so I think it's about time I start doing a little change. And they are kind of like Jap Jacksepticeye-esque looking now. And I really do like the look of his thumbnails overall. Like, out of PewDiePie and Markiplier and people like that, I like his thumbnails the most because they're bright, they, like, pop out at you. You can obviously tell that that's his style of thumbnail making because he has his own, like, style. You can tell if it's a Jacksepticeye video whenever you see one of his thumbnails. 
Most of the time he's actually in the thumbnail himself, he'll like photoshop his face or head onto some other person's body. It, it just depends. But I really do like making those thumbnails. It was really, really fun. It was a fun experience to do. I thoroughly enjoyed myself making an asshole out of myself. And uh, the YouTuber's Life video, it got a lot of hate really quickly because it was titled like, how to get 1,000 subscribers like fast. And you know, people expected to click on this video, you know, trying to learn tips. And then it's just a YouTuber's Life video and they would get all like angry and it got the most dislikes and I completely understand that I was actually kinda going for that I wanted to piss people off because you know I it, it's clickbait you know I'm gonna have fun with it if I'm if I'm gonna fuck around with a broken system I'm going to have like the most fun with it and I had a lot of fun so that's my conclusion um, clickbait it definitely works not for gaining subscribers but for gaining views and that's basically the conclusion. There really much isn't left to it. You know, my, my experiment was successful in a way. You know, I'm not really proud of doing it. It was... It was, it was really annoying trying to come up with, like, titles and stuff because they're all basically the same. They all are titled basically the same, saying like, Oh, these babes are gonna kill me, or oh, these babes wanna bang. You know, they're all... Na they're all titled the same for each <laughs> game. It doesn't matter. But I definitely did have a lot of fun making the thumbnails and making the videos for it. It was definitely a lot of fun. And that's the, probably the first time I've had a, a, that much fun in a long time doing YouTube. But there you go. That's the conclusion. Thank you so much for um, supporting me through this week. It really was kind of difficult because I kind of was debating whether or not uploading the video called do not watch this I didn't know if I wanted to follow through with my plan but I did have a lot of fun I really did enjoy it so thank you Knight, so much for watching if you enjoyed please remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to become a knight of the round table today and also tell your friends about me so the channel can grow it really does help word of mouth really does help helps out smaller channels grow quicker so and as always I will see you guys later